welcome to my channel my name is rachel and i do reviews i do uh, grocery hauls and anything food i do money and time saving videos and i send you motivational workouts and meals of the day because it is very important that we stay active because it is not always about the body there are so many ways of getting the body that you want but the best way is to acquire it through healthy living so in this video i tell you things that you should not buy in a supermarket unless they are on sale so kama kuna offer then go all in and buy if not then don't buy them in a supermarket if you live in nairobi or even other parts of the world let's go to the video number one it is the seeds and the nuts all right these are things that you can uh, get in other places for example ngara market very 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 affordable in the supermarket it is very costly so for your seeds and your nuts and your dried fruits yes your dried fruits there make sure that you get them from other places for example in the ngara market amaisli you will get them in an affordable uh, price so this is obviously for someone who wants to save money and keep it for emergencies carpets your carpets your carpets why are you buying your carpets for supermarket trendy carpets are in Isli and other markets please go to those places and buy your carpets from them in the supermarket utapata za kitambo zimezekea huko and you pay very very uh, like expensive for them so buy your carpets in Isli and other places. Don't buy your carpets in the supermarket. Next, we are talking about your canned goods. And this is all about tomatoes, your maize, your beans, your all that. Mama kupika hizo vitu kwa mita yuko everywhere. Nyanyas, your 100 bob um worth of that can which can be a hundred it more than a hundred you see 110 106 that is a lot of tomatoes in the kenyan market so end up a soko no more use of it from there save if you don't want to the process of cooking them then end up a mama boga wale wana boilizo giveri and all that buy your fresh stuff and just go home with your fresh stuff unlike unless you are buying something like tuna that is very expensive in nairobi when it is fresh then you have the excuse of buying a, a tin wood but beans githeri no 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 wachana na kubai hizo vitu supermarket you are spending money for no good reason actually wasting money for no good reason next we are talking about uh, tomato sauce tomato paste these things ni nyanya salt sugar some vinegar and chili if you want it uh or something very simple process you should be uh, stay around for that video coming soon and you make your own anyway water why are we even buying drinking water in Nairobi while we know the safest water is the one that you boil Majia Kanju Chemsha Vizuri store it in a airtight place and it should be okay airtight place up in a manisha chupa enye ingiwi na uchafu or stuff like that and the water could even go to an extreme of being very expensive flavored water why are we even drinking flavored water in the first place is zote any chemical so why are we doing it to an extent of using a lot of money mm -hmm. chapati rolls tortilla uh, burrito rolls whatever the wraps that you use to make your stuff why are you using your 800 to buy stuff that you can make with a dollar because unga moja Tukejita kumekia more than 60 wraps na 60 wraps uh, iyo ni salt na sugar. Hizi vitu wazina mafuta by the way. Still unaezenda kwa chapo umuitu za barabara if you live in Mutani and you get your chapatis. But this amount of money buying in a Kenyan supermarket, it's, it's a waste of money. $8 for a bag of burritos. Are you kidding me? It does not make any sense. Make those things from home. Vegetables, fresh vegetables. They are fresh in the market. They are not fresh in the stores. Unless you have all the money to spend on that. But if you see them 
on sale and they appear fresh then grab them and go otherwise mostly the stores zitaweka those sad looking vegetables on sale so you have no excuse ya kubai vitu sad very expensive see fresh umetumia pesa yote why are you doing it to yourself to your hand and money meat butcheries kenya zipo everywhere hata kama ni mtaani kama unaishi the posh estates za nairobi kuna butcheries kwa malls enda pata your cut of the day for the meat that you want and leave the meat ya supermarket alone story ni pe kilo mbili hii ni pe kilo mbili pale ni pe that meat has been staying in there for the longest time possible and the worst part ni vile utailipa like with an extra uh, amount as compared to someone who went to the butchery to just buy their meat frozen gideri really people frozen vegetables why why frozen fruits why while you can get the same things kwa kibanda na ubai at a very affordable price or you even boil your things you know homemade food is the best price afadhali ununue fries mwitu instead of you going to pay double triple the amount buying fries za za nini za sofa then zi sok maji then ukizifika zimeabsorb all the oil and then you pay battling calories don't do that to yourself fruits buy fresh fruits from the market all right if you have all the money in the world then you can buy from the you know food plus zucchini zucchini and such places get the freshest but if you having vegetables and fruits really you don't have to get the frozen stuff especially kama unaishi Kenya like you don't have any excuse unless you're not prioritizing your health which you should anyway what else are you going to prioritize kama si health yako tell me tell me what hakuna moving on talking about frozen food we are talking about those moments when you want to grab something okay and you're hungry daily in the supermarkets yeah that is something that came not not more than 10 years ago in the kenyan supermarkets and we are going all in buying those foods your food stay fresh at all if you're hungry go to the kibanda actually you'll be surprised to know the food vendors when you walk across street they sell more fresh foods than your favorite hotel mm -hmm. yes because food moves so fast that means food consumption rate iko juu sana kwa kibanda as compared to the hotel because of the haraka ya kusab and the prices and all that so you end up spending less money when you buy kwa kibanda chakula and you eat almost fresh food like the second after homemade food which is a very very good thing for you so for the uh, super really you have no excuse to do that all right that's extra money for no good reason you are spending it and it is not healthy for you a scoop of githeri you pay 100 why would you do that githeri 100 rata neighbors wako utawagawia and mkwe na sapa imetosha anyway i'm just making noise over here but really seriously let us invest more on our health not more on the things that really don't matter kama utaingia an extra cost when you are trying to just fit something that is is okay health wise then well and good but other things it is unfortunate that we can spend a lot of money and compromise our health in the process which really does not make sense at all kisukuma your trolley next time just figure it out get it figured out right jiambia tu kweli i know it feels so good grabbing those those few things and putting them there on a tesa uko but who is fooling who here you are fooling yourself at that moment so moving on we have cereals your ndengu your legumes zote uh, lentils beans and all that kama haziko on sale enda ukanunua hizo vitu kwa stock unaona anywhere where they are selling them it is cheaper but when they are on sale then beba them you will be okay if they are not on sale wachana nazo because you are spending a lot of money for no good reason 
alright for no good reason especially kama unataka bulk shopping enda nyamakima if you in town alright grab your cereals and you'll be fine don't spend for no good reason keep that money utensils kamukunji is waiting for you and other market why are you buying triple the amount ya kitungi kwa supermarket while you can get it and save the extra cents for something else you know it is not about not having a lot of money sometimes it's about not wasting it and putting it into a worthwhile cause don't just spend your money on grabbing things here and there halafu tena if you go to some place like mukunji unapata trendy things unless you're buying something on sale or that you've not seen in the market then hey stop wasting your money save that money or give it to someone kama imekuchosha <laughs> okay this is not funny at all but really let us save let us save don't waste your money but ukipatana na sale aka offers just grab it if you think it's worth it another trick you could be surprised ni see at kila promo in a supermarket amounts to a promo some are just uh, pranks you know i just reduce you anything ama the quality is bad the customers are complaining and then they are put on sale so be careful usidhani wewe ndio mshap kumbe umechezwa beddings your furniture your mattresses and duvets and all those things enda kwa market enda kama kunchi enda isli your furniture places uh, on fb everywhere check what you need towels king Col king's collection is waiting for you for quality and you won't pay as much as paying there mayai get kwa mita get online kwa farmers direct you save especially kwa kienyeji mayai you save a lot of money so that is it for today's video thank you so much for being here my name is Rachel videos every monday wednesday and saturday